So the next one, why do we need to manage our resources? What is the necessity? I told you reuse the materials, recycle the materials and reduce the consumption of uh, different uh, materials or energy. Why? Somebody may think, why I should do that? Why should I reduce? I have money. I have plenty of money. I can buy anything. So I don't want any money to sell all this world waste. Simply I will throw. I don't have time to segregate this, to sell this at one point. So I don't have time. I don't have any necessity. Because I have money, I can buy new things at any time. Why I should reduce my comfort? I want it to be at my comfort. I write on uh, as many papers I like. I write only one line in one paper. I have so many books. I can use as I like. So if this is the attitude, these decisions are, they are not environment friendly decisions. Even though you have good amount of money, even, even though you think that plenty of resources are available around you, you cannot take such non environmental friendly decisions. Why? So here we are discussing why. Because one thing is that we are getting energy from the sun. Okay, energy is a bountiful source of energy, sun. Out of the energy, only a few part of the solar energy is consumed by us. And we not only require energy, we require energy at the same time we require energy plus materials, minerals. So materials are required, means minerals are required. We require carbon compounds, we require metals, we require coal, all these things to make day to day products. I already told you all your comforts, your sofa sets, your television set and your house, your bed, your clothes, your utensils, your kitchenware, your cosmetics and your personal wear and your uh, footwear, everything, your books, your bag, everything that comes from the earth. Energy comes from the sun. So, we cannot think that whatever is coming from the earth is unlimited. It is limited. So, earth has got all these things in a limited value, limited amount. You may think that oh, everything is coming from the factories. Every day thousands and thousands of goods are produced. So, you cannot think that they will produce it like that for a very long time. At some point, they will stop. So, they are mining for some iron, some metal, some gold, some copper. It will stop at some point. They are mining for petrol, diesel, that is a petroleum. They are mining for coal. They are mining for this natural gas. At some point, it will stop. That means, the amount of coal present in the earth is limited. One day it will be exhausted, finish. And the petroleum, one day it will be finished, over. So it happens, that means the natural resources are limited. We cannot think that unlimited. So as they are limited, we need to manage our resources. That is the reason. Because resources are limited. Certain resources, they are unlimited, but even then, it takes very long time for the formation. Again and again they form, but it takes very long time, millions of years. So if you use all it in one day, you have to wait for million years again to form. So that is the case. One thing is resources are limited. That is the reason why you should manage our resources. Second thing is that pollution. If you are using these natural resources at a very high rate in very less time they cause pollution air is polluted water is polluted deforestation leads to less rainfall it leads to increase in the global temperature that is the greenhouse effect in this way so many problems are caused because of the over usage of the natural resources so one thing is the resources are limited the other one is pollution is caused if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.